Pittsburgh Steelers Super Bowl rings to designer handbags. These counterfeit items look like the real thing, but these fake products can have a real impact on your health, legitimate businesses and workers in this country. Customs and Border Protection seized $4.6 million in bogus items in Pittsburgh last year. Now Target 11's Rick Earl is getting a rare behind the scenes look as investigators search for fraudulent merchandise. The website looked legitimate. He purchased the Pittsburgh Steelers Super Bowl rings from a website he found on Facebook. They were only $99, so I knew that they weren't going to be authentic. Uh, I just wanted them for my display case and, you know, with the rest of my Steeler gear. But the rings never showed up to his house in Glassport. Then he found out on WPXI.com that they had been confiscated by Customs and Border Protection officers. Couldn't believe it. I guess you realize then you're not getting your rings, huh? Not getting the rings, not getting the money, uh, you know, um, I guess it's a, it's a learning lesson. The counterfeit Super Bowl rings just one of the $4.6 million worth of items seized in Pittsburgh last year alone. Across the country, CBP confiscated 26,000 shipments last year with a price tag of $1.3 billion. We went along with customs and border officers as they combed through international packages at a warehouse near Pittsburgh International Airport. The packages come off the trucks right here and then they're placed on this conveyor belt. And this is where officers for U.S. Customs and Border Protection look for counterfeit items. So this in particular, it's a, a Ping golf club. We know Ping is not made in China. So we have a pretty good idea already that these may be counterfeit. They're also searching for illegal items like drugs or drug paraphernalia, like these marijuana grinders. Consider drug paraphernalia okay. and um, are unable to be imported to the United States and will be seized for that. Let's face it, the people who are making these counterfeit items aren't interested in your health. They're interested in making a buck, plain and simple. So William Fitting is the port director in Pittsburgh. He says the bottom line, protecting consumers. Lead paint on toys or other items that your kid may put in his mouth. That's a problem. That's really what we're looking for. We're not looking to ruin anybody's party. 90% of the items seized are from China or Hong Kong. And since the pandemic began, nationwide officers have seized 34.6 million counterfeit masks and 178,000 FDA prohibited COVID test kits. If you've ever had a COVID test, I mean, that goes up into your sinus. If you're doing that and this is a counterfeit item, you don't know whether these were done under um, stringent conditions or was this just manufactured in some warehouse somewhere. And the most popular items seized? Watches and jewelry, apparel, handbags and wallets, shoes, and consumer electronics. Fitting says they don't typically confiscate one or two items. They're looking for bulk items bought to resell. He says they can harm legitimate brands. Very rarely are we going after the person who bought one of something, um, a, a bag, a jersey. We're looking at the people who are buying cases of things that are in turn selling them as legitimate items. And now the consumer doesn't know the difference because while well, I'm buying it in a store, it must be genuine. Now that brand is going to take a hit because it fell apart in a week. And the port director says these counterfeit goods can also impact jobs and workers in this country. Now the feds don't have jurisdiction over manufacturers overseas, but they have gone after buyers in this country. In 2019, the seizures led to 265 arrests and 157 convictions. Rick Earl, Channel 11 News.